プレイステーション。I hope you heard the excitement that members of the PlayStation community share. <coughs> also, we formed around our hardware product. For instance, there is an enthusiastic community of professional and aspiring photographers around our alpha cameras. In this community, the users are the creators. We also have a community around Ibo, and they will be celebrating Ibo's first birthday in just a few My colleagues from Sony Pictures and Sony Music, they will share how our technology and products help to turn creators' vision into reality. First is Tom Rossman from Sony Pictures Entertainment. Tom, please join me on stage. Thank you, Ken, thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm delighted to be here to represent Sony Pictures. Uh, <coughs> as uh, some of you may know, uh, Sony Pictures Entertainment, uh, the corporate company, Production. Um, I run the film side. My counterpart, Mike Hopkins, is here somewhere on the television side. And as uh, Yoshida-san pointed out, Sony's vision is to be a creative entertainment company, creating and maximizing communities of interest. Well, to do that, you need to have not only outstanding technology, but strong entertainment content and lasting intellectual property, which we call IP for short, that goes with it. For the last few years, one of our top priorities at Sony was building and creating new franchises for those communities of interest. And I'm proud to say that we have made up <coughs> with recently released or planned coming entries for some of our most successful franchises. Films like Jumanji, Equalizer 2, a new Men in Black coming this summer, Goosebumps, Charlie and Angels. And in particular, I want to talk today uh, quite a bit about animation. Animation has been hugely successful for us in leveraging our IP. We've had three Hotel Transylvania films, which are now more than a billion dollar franchise worldwide. Uh, <clears throat> we have a sequel to our very successful uh, hybrid film, Peter Rabbit, that actually starts shooting in uh, Australia uh, next week, and of course, uh, a movie in current release, which I hope if you've been paying attention, you've seen or heard about, and that is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now, Spider-Verse represents not only a quite innovative and spectacular work of animation in its own right, but it's a perfect example of how strong IP can be leveraged and expanded into new content, new formats, and exploited on multiple platforms. And I'm proud to say that as of last night, uh, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, the uh, pride of Dartmouth College and the producers of Spider-Verse are now golden <laughs> And uh, luckily a little later on, about how they created this first of its kind, um, entirely new and original work. Uh, <clears throat> but with respect to the underlying IP, it's worth knowing that today, only the Disney company and Sony is the only company to make film or television content based on the enormously popular Marvel characters. Last year's terrific success of Spider-Man Homecoming, Homecoming with Tom Holland opened the door to myriad opportunities for us. Venom, which had record-breaking success this fall, the animated Spider-Verse, which we're going to talk, talk a lot about today, and then this coming July, we have other films now in pre-production featuring other characters 
um, characters. And there is, of course, the phenomenally successful PlayStation Spider-Man game that launched to record-breaking numbers this fall. When my boss, Tony Vince Square, took over Sony as chairman and CEO about a year and a half ago, he said that one of the things that drew him connection to the broader Sony businesses, specifically the distinct creative advantages and opportunities that come from being so closely aligned to a company renowned for its visionary and innovative technology. And I can tell you that I see that marriage between technological innovation and creativity playing out every day in two profound ways all across the studio. First, in the tech that's used in the creation, and second, in the delivery of that content to our audiences. In terms of production, there's a lot of Sony technology across the breadth of the studio at every stage. I, I enjoyed, I was watching out of the corner uh, when you all were coming in, and I hope you saw the clip uh, with Jim Cameron talking about the Venice camera. You know, some of you may know this, but Jim and I actually worked together on two of the biggest movies of all time, Titanic and Avatar. So I know Jim quite well. And I am not overstating when I say that Jim is one of the greatest and most innovative filmmakers of our time. But he is also among the most meticulous. He is devoted to excellence in all that he does. And Jim's use of the Venice camera speaks volumes to the quality of that product. If it were not the best... I think I've been talking to myself for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> and we, fortunately, are using it as well. I've just At turned my mic on. I thought it was already on. Just let me know that you can hear me. Just TV to confirm. Using the Venice camera. Each are visually dynamic Please. in their own way. And that dynamism is increased by the use of the Venice camera. On the film side, we've used various Sony tech, including Sony's professional cinema camera, the F55, the Alpha 9, which is a compact, lightweight, full-frame mirrorless camera, and the Alpha 7S Mark II. Uh, we also use the ultra-compact, robust... Can anyone hear me? Zero Ang Lee's revolutionary hyper-realistic visuals and Billy Lynn's halftime walk were only made possible by use of the Sony F65. Last fall, we released the first studio movie to shoot primarily well, well, on the Alpha 7 S Mark II with Hawk anamorphic lenses. Come so on, less of the camera is more about the PlayStation 5. Use and exploit the latest in Sony technology throughout the creation of our content. How are you doing, John? Um, I was speaking to you before, but I was obviously speaking to myself because my mic was turned off. Role in our post-production activities. The quality of that tech is central to what we're here to talk about today. Creating and delivering high quality content for audiences to enjoy as the creators doing, of that Julio? content. Uh, the PS5 could be decent. announced during this conference. As to uh, the delivery of the content. It's not everything Sony, well, but as uh, those of you, uh, there's a good chance it could be PS5 as well. Um, so it's obviously like TVs, phones, sure anything know, electronics by Sony. Uh, the motion picture so the chance that the PS5 could be announced on this show. So uh, stay tuned. The way people consume our content has changed. We've not but got a bit to that bit yet, Will. We at Sony remain firm believers in the theatrical experience, the in-theater experience. And we it's will never going to be the be beginning set. of the show, put it that way. Having said that, however, a critical part of the lifespan of movie content is the home entertainment window following its theatrical run. And audiences watching great film and television good content stuff, mate, good at home stuff. want the best possible home theater experience, especially when that content is extra as is as extraordinary, visually stunning, and technically advanced as Spider-Man. Returning to that film to give you a little more insight no problem, into Colin. much of the groundbreaking activity that made it possible. It's a real pleasure for me to introduce to the stage 
the president of Sony This guy speaks like he's got a stick up his backside. This woman has overseen the pioneering work done there and has been instrumental in bringing this fabulous film to audiences. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my colleague, Christine Belson. Thank you, Tom. Um, so right now, industry-wide, animation is experiencing a true golden age because ever since the computer animation revolution began ne nearly 25 years ago, animated storytelling no keeps rapidly My pleasure. evolving. I'm probably more excited than anybody. Technological advancements have allowed probably filmmakers hear the excitement to in my express voice. their I'm actually vision really in excited. new and previously impossible ways. And when you look at a film like Spider-Verse, you can't help but to be blown away by its innovative style, it's so bold, it's vibrant beauty. And of course, the in-home experience is as critical as theatrical, especially with our animated movies, which generally enjoy a long life in the home. Not sure actually how long so the show runs for, it's but truly so important to I'll filmmakers to the whole thing to find and out audiences that a display device can faithfully reproduce images with every detail intact, the full range of colors, that full range of brightness and darkness so that it really, really resonates. We all want these devices that support the storytelling and de deliver on the visual and the emotional experience that creators like Chris and Phil intended. 8K and OLED Bravia Master Series can really, really enhance I that mind experience. That night TV. All of which, in turn, expands the possibilities of the range of our creations. So, Sony Pictures has been collaborating since 2000 with Sony's TV engineers on the TV picture mode developed for I've a deeply the Sony Bravia. theater experience. And the team also worked closely Let me know what you've together got in the comments, to guys. 4K HDR filmmaking which is another tool that can dramatically expand the range of potential creative I'm happy with it, by the way, if you're thinking of getting one. Bravia Master Series televisions deliver nearly the same level of quality as the professional grade monitors we use in production, providing super accurate reproduction of picture with every detail as intended. And again, for us, the goal is use technology not only to support creators in their storytelling, but to help them expand the possibilities of their storytelling and to have viewers immerse themselves even more deeply into these wonderful stories. At Sony Pictures Animation, we intentionally do not have a specific house style like some animation studios do. With each movie, our filmmakers create a unique, distinctive film that reflects their personal vision. And on Spider-Verse, our creative yet, guiding Merrick, lights were but, uh... Phil Lord and Chris Miller. You could do Bill in the show, Chris, so along with our stay tuned. Bob the thumbnails for Peter attention. Ramsey and Rodney Rothman and our animators and engineers at ImageWorks dreamed up incredibly ambitious ideas for what this movie could be. We all saw this chance to bring Spider-Man to the screen in a way that harkened back to his comic book roots, yet was astonishingly fresh. Come on, and Christina, less about Spider-Man, more now, about PS5. Let's, let's talk go. Talk about their truly extraordinary film and the creative process that led to such a powerful connection with audiences around the world. Please welcome Phil Lord and Chris Miller. I hope so, Merit. There's a good chance. I think it's going to be launched in November this year, so they're going to have to reveal it sometime before. Obviously, we want to build a bit of hype. So, it's always you, something you can keep Christine. a secret like PS5 Hi, for, so somebody would leak it otherwise. Uh, we are thrilled to get to talk to you guys about Spider Man into the Spider Verse. The reactions and response to this film have been incredible. Whenever they do we're announce it, though, they're going to they're gonna warm you up with things like this. So, you've just got to sit through it, unfortunately. Uh, look, the, the, this was always about telling Miles Morales' story and, and giving audiences a film Definitely that, they William, connect 100%. With, that reflected. The, world the six that we year all trend, every six years on average, a new console. A superhero um, that everybody can see them. Launch in November because you know, Christmas we're is in a obviously peak superhero world. We all know the it. biggest uh, selling time of the year, so, so they need to out, launch in November, thought, ready for Christmas. We're going to do another Spider-Man film. We had to figure out a way to make it feel fresh, new, and exciting. So, uh, along with the movie's directors, I can't see it being uh, next year. It's too, too far to away. A way to do uh, a never PlayStation and so, uh, Sony and Microsoft are both going to be wanting to get out there first to get the bulk of the sales. So they're not going to wait seven years, I don't think. That's or my even 2D anyway. movies you've seen in the past decade, as you can tell, right behind us. That's because of the unique animation style and the new techniques that we used and, and made. Xbox Two should be the same. Or we Scarlet believe or really strongly that animation is a medium; it's not a genre. And one means thing's for sure, they're both working on now. They're going to be announced at some point. So that's why we really wanted to experiment with the look of the movie. And what we came up with was something that combined various techniques, like taking CG 
and finishing those frames with hand-drawn animation. It was really complicated, and it took a lot of time. I think I'm going to have to pre-order both. Can do about four seconds <laughs> and if that Madbox comes out, that did a video movie, on the other day, that's all free. can do one second of animation in a week. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> uh, look, we had to teach the computer to do new things. We had to write all kinds of new software. Not personally. We're not good at that. <laughs> Uh, but in order to in make PS5 this games, movie talking, look like this, uh, obviously all FIFA. of these smart people had to write uh, all kinds of new shaders, all kinds of new field, software, the new, the new recreate the pipeline. And you can really feel the hand of obviously the artist evoking emotions from every Xbox. frame. It's like a painting or a piece get all your, uh, And the human hand can, can convey emotions. Your exclusives coming out with them. Right. We and, uh, wanted the audience to feel the, the big ones that are going to be on both, you know, the dual platform ones. We wanted this film to communicate directly with them the way an artist does when you look at a painting. And blending the styles NBA. of various different animation styles. Each character comes from their own dimension and has their own art style that was authentic to them. It was sort of a tribute to the artists and animators that created them and allowed individuality of each, each character in each world. So, you know, the, the film's theme is anyone can wear the mask. And that held true to the whole crew. We wanted people to try new things, take risks. There's no penalty for failing. Uh, and, and, you know, because we needed to learn from one another we needed to, you know, we needed to try new things, and, uh, and that was the only way we were going to create anything new. And it was a huge risk to take one of the studio's most valuable live-action franchises and make an animated movie, because some people still feel like animated sure, well, movies are just for kids. But we really wanted to prove that animation is a hugely exciting area of filmmaking for all audiences, and we wanted to push the boundaries of what consumers think about when they think about what animation is. So we want to give a huge thanks to Tom, Christine, and Sony. I will be disappointed if they don't reveal it in this uh, live stream. But these two turkeys, and uh, we really appreciate will. their support like say, for so making just, the movie about and, and make allowing sure you our don't team go away. the freedom and the tools that they needed to do this in such an innovative way. And we're going to hand it back to Tom now. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Don't be fooled by their unprepossessing nature. They're, those are two geniuses. Um, and uh, <coughs> we feel incredibly lucky uh, to be working with them at Sony, and we've worked with them across a number of projects. But this, as was recognized by the uh, Golden Globe last Johnny. night, I've this just is got really, a really special. 65 um, inch so I thank you, Phil Sony and Chris. Uh, <coughs> 4K, your success brilliant TV. shows us exactly what pushing the boundaries um, can look like and, um, and why we do it. So as we look to the future, we will continue to explore new and innovative ways to create engaging do, and entertaining content if I'm pronouncing and it right. new ways to share it with our audiences. On the lot in LA, we recently launched, interestingly, a state-of-the-art uh, <coughs> facility called Innovation Studios to do just that. Um, Earlier this year, the yeah, team we'll there created a TV virtual set, okay. and I've been in the movie business for 30 years, and I've never seen this. Um, they used it for Shark Tank, which our television group produces. Um, and looking at it, the physical and the digital sets are nearly impossible to tell apart. It's quite revolutionary and can have real profound effects for the future. Scan sets, store them digitally, reuse them for future shoots, all without the usual space and location limitations. And we recently applied this same scanning technology to the sets in our current uh, big budget uh, Men in Black film, uh, which we shot in London for release this summer. So, one, so, so well and good um, having 8K TV, just, just being able to afford future one. future technology that awaits us The price us all. is ridiculous at the moment. Um, but you can see how integrated it is uh, into the content creation we do every day. And um, I want to thank you all for having me here today. Um, it's been a great fun. And now I get to um, hand it over to the really cool dudes at Sony. Um, you know, the music guys are where it's happening. And um, it's my pleasure to introduce you, first a little video, and then my esteemed colleague uh, from Sony Pictures Music, from Sony Music Entertainment. Mr. Don't forget Rob's to leave a like on the stream, guys, and uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do. Mostly console news on the channel.
I had a video the other day as well, um, I was just thinking before. They seem to have been showing some sort of Gran Turismo demo um, on an 8K Never monitor. Easy following I can't see that just being so, thrown together just for a demo. Show it's a, it's a full so game. It takes Gran Turismo six months to make one car. For a so that's another giveaway for me. Technology and content in it's this year. Long time ago. I've seen countless examples of where our global roster of over 2,000 artists and so Sony Technology combined to create a really powerful pa uh, partnership that can definitely excite the consumer. In recent years, we have jointly presented the Lost in Music campaign, where we have introduced the world of the Sony brand with some of our hottest brand new artists. For example, in 2017, the Chainsmokers, who have so far streamed 25 Jeffrey billion Goddard, new subscriber, thanks a lot for that. Helped us introduce PlayStation VR headsets. So I thought I'd show you today a brief video montage of Lost in Music and other collaborative campaigns where some of our most hot new artists promote their music through the power of Sony technology. So it looks like we've gone through the, the uh, animation. It looks like now we're going into the music. So hopefully the tech next. So am I will, but I don't think it will. <laughs> They'll be ready for Christmas launch. We need to give people enough time to get one um, before the Christmas period. So obviously they want a big bulk of sales on launch. Probably run out again like usual. Same with Xbox. Big disappointed me about Xbox and PlayStation in fact in 2013 for the PS4 and Xbox One. Was there was about five games to choose from, that was it. I think for the Xbox, I got the Xbox One on day one. Um, and I think there was FIFA, GTA 5, which was also out on Xbox 360, as was FIFA. In fact, all of them were. There was um, Battlefield 4, also out on 360. If you can name all those artists, I will just, give you a pair of headphones. Ended up selling it after about but, three months um, and then buying one, one the again when more games come out because I paid like 400 a pounds for it. I thought, well, I'll get my money back who, um, and buy one when the cheaper, which I did. Because I got a PS4 anyway. has gone from being an unknown anyway. high school student in Texas to being in the top 10 streaming artists in the world in 2018. Um, all promoting their music and the Sony brand. Uh, we're also working together very recently now on 360 Reality Audio, which is the booth is right there, which I was in I earlier today. Down, if I'm pronouncing that um, right. This Sorry is announced today, and we're very excited to be part of this reality audio Console news. to elevate the listening experience for the consumer. The results, audio-wise and sonically, are truly spectacular. I and think GTA 6 will come out when across our vast the, the new consoles come out, and it'll be so across it be PS4, Xbox One, innovation. and the next gen Headphones, as well. Cameras, Same as last time. Or gaming. The technological uh, associated with our music is organic. Synergistic, so am I, John, so am I. I'm getting excited too. clearly the same audience. At Sony Music Entertainment, we fully believe in Yoshida-san's vision of connecting users and creators. I don't creators. know, Junior. It's been six so years ago, since the last we GTA. We brought one of our most prestigious creators to Tokyo. I don't think be waiting to much too, too much longer. To see that vision at close hand in the home of the company. The purpose of this visit was to explore avenues of partnership between the Sony brand and the creator and form a community of interest as Yoshida-san stated earlier. The results were pretty remarkable, as that shared interest became clearly apparent. I don't know my main Kuhn channel. Sony's um, brand new innovative technology. It's definitely going to be that has not even been announced this year, in my opinion. Uh, by the way, I used to have two main Coons. clearly enable the artist to communicate more effectively with their If anyone audience. doesn't know a main Coon's a cat, it's just quite, to the level quite of large compared to a normal cat, and has a really weird, um, side of the Sony makes a weird noise, a different type of meow than you used to. be of interest to the artists who want to make the world a better place. The creator who visited Tokyo with me was Pharrell Williams, and here's a brief video presentation of our visit. been a couple of teasers as well about this live stream. Um, Sony accidentally put out a broadcast a few days ago 
It was like 28 seconds of so, uh, the rainbow screen with the boop noise. I, and that was it. Um, with the same idea. title as, you know, CES 2019. People to understand, like, the value And today, I got a, a notification it's just, that they went live again. I, mean, I clicked on it, it would just instantly, as soon as it came up. End up and uh, it had been taken happen. down again. Come on. You know, a lot of people in those comments saying, you know, You're is this right a PS5 tease or... Yeah, I think there is a good chance it could be revealed today. Congrats. Yeah. so cool. I want to do it. Makes sense so, to do uh, so. Rather than me talking from the record company point of view, I thought it'd be good if Pharrell gave his own perspective on our groundbreaking visit. So please would you welcome producer, innovator, educator, entrepreneur, Sony Music recording artist, and true global cultural ambassador. Really, Blue Barry, Mr. how are you doing? Bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing around. Hey, keep passing me to where I'm from. Hey, fight the border, say it's still that run. By the way, guys, if you're interested in consoles, uh, the channel is about consoles mainly. Um, all things consoles, in fact. So do hit subscribe and the bell icon. Got a great little community going. Quite a new channel. Not really focused on it until the last couple of weeks, but we're really making a bit of progress now, so. Leave a like on the video too. I'll be back in just a minute. How you doing? Uh, can I just basically say that Pharrell was on holiday in Anguilla and he's come here today and everything and I was a little bit worried at two o'clock. Oh, just tell him where still I am right now. Right? If he was still on holiday in Anguilla, but he's here. <laughs> so thank you for being here. That was a a sort of seminal trip, so I thought it'd be good if you could share some of the wit and wisdom from, from our trip and how it relates to your overall vision. Well, first of all, thank you for your belief and support in me, and uh, thank you, everybody, for having me here. Um, but as an artist, sorry. Ro rewind, <laughs> rewind, 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 rewind. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> there we go. As an artist, who creates music with the Sony Music family and also my delivery team, the very reason that I was in Japan. Um, I was very excited to be in Tokyo uh, because it's one of my favorite cities um, in the world. Um, and mainly because I've been going there for like 20 years and oftentimes we would always see, pause it for a second please. We would, um, we'd, we'd often see the Sony building and we see the Sony name and and I always wanted to have more of a connection with the brand so I just want to say that um, and so finally when being able to go into the building not just as an artist but as a creator and as a, a, a guest uh, I didn't expect to see the um, the incredible technology that we saw and have such a revelatory experience from beginning to end the connection between me as a creator and the technological innovations that Sony is working on was super clear to me straight away, whether it be in the infinite field of audiovisual experience or in the realms of social and educational policy that attracted my attention, um, not only as an artist and an innovator, but also as a global citizen. I did not know that the company that, you know, where we do music and, of course, we know the iconic Walkman, who knew that they were thinking about things and people in Africa, you know, and issues. Uh, um, and I don't want to get in trouble by <laughs> revealing too much. Away. But it was just so, so mind-blowing. I felt like I left every meeting going, okay, but you guys are putting this out, right? Yeah. Like, you're not going to make us wait like they're making us wait for the eyeball. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> can we make some more of those, please? Yes, we will. So I experimented with... Um, and discussed so many different concepts with the various Sony divisions and shared my own ideas uh, for future shared creations. And what I will say is, when I was in there, what I could not believe is everything there is created based on them asking future questions. You know, what is it going to be like? And anticipating what How's the next question is going, Greg? the one. Did you have a white Christmas in Denmark? Six steps we ahead. didn't have one here again. So, I just couldn't believe that I was literally walking around in all of the You've not missed anything yet, Phil. Um, future solutions. Hoping that PS5 will be announced, though. So we're we're, we've been through the, uh, the movie side of things. We're going, going through the music side of things now, and then hopefully the tech the side of things after this. So stay tuned. technology and its 
Sony technology can inspire and lead and create right, a Michael connection King? between the user and the creator. I'm so sorry, I know there's a mouthful, but so much to say. It's a super impressive company to be with, and uh, you guys are going to see. And I have the eyeball already. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you couldn't get an eyeball at Christmas, we managed to get Pharrell one, which would have been a bit weird if we hadn't, actually. Yeah. But, but he has his own Ibo, yes. who I understand is in Anguilla. You've left in Anguilla, yeah. so it's like stayed on the beach. Um, thank you very much, Pharrell. Pharrell, you're going to stick up here yes, for sir. a second. Yes, but sir. we do believe that we, we, ha we, as the music company, have to get closer to the artists. We have to be closer to creators. And in turn, if we're close to creators, then Sony closer to the wallet, as a whole like. brand can be close to creators. And we believe that the Sony brand with Sony Music can excite artists and consumers alike. And, and that's our vision for our company. And as we move along in technology and all those various platforms, we want to get closer to the Sony brand. That's our vision. So I would like to invite you, should you stand back to the stage? Michael. Uh As you have a theme, mm -hmm. we at Sony are extremely honored to work closely with visionary creators like Pharrell, Phil, and Chris to help realize their creativity and connect with audiences. Sony's technology is used from content creation to the delivery of the craft in the highest possible quality to people across the globe. I don't know, Philip Lee. If I, I did get a PSP and I had it for about a year and I just didn't really like it. There's a couple of good games in it. Emotionally. You used to play like Dynasty Warriors and uh, with FIFA. Technology, Sony is also there to deliver the very best entertainment experience to fans and fill the world with emotions. We are and we will continue to be a creative entertainment company built on the solid foundation of technology. I hope you enjoyed our presentation today. Once again, thank you for joining us. I don't know, John, I've got a Vita for, for my son's 10. Well, at the time, he must have been and about five. He loved it. I wasn't a big fan, to be honest. I'm all about online gaming and, you know, Uh, pretty much all consoles now. It used to be phones and, and any sort of tech, but I found that the subscribers wanted to see consoles, so that's that's what I stuck to. So PS4 news, PS5 news, Xbox Scarlet news, Xbox Two, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, they, we don't know what it's going to be called yet. Not 100% anyway. Turn around.
Awkward silence for him there, right? Georgia has that mean look on her face. Yeah, you never see that. No. I don't know if, I don't know if they think they're live yet or not, but. She's on it. <laughs> they definitely don't know the live. <laughs> Someone gonna tell them. She must feel the odd one out, not because she's female, but she's the only one without glasses. I think it was an epic. Very, very good. So. No, Next up, live <laughs> discussions with Sony Electronics president and COO. What's the COO? Right, Do well, they mean CEO? Welcome to the post panel conference. No. Come on, Sony. <laughs> so, what's that? Okay, are we good? All right. Well, there's nothing like a little post panel fun. I am so thrilled to be able to bring to you an esteemed panel here that's going to talk. Well, that's weird. Stay tuned, guys. I'm sure it's coming straight back on. We good? There we go. All right. We good? All right. Well, welcome to the post panel conference. No. <laughs> so what's that? <laughs> she looks like a man. Okay, are we good? Sony All right. Well, there's nothing President like a little and post Coop. panel fun. I am so thrilled Coop. to be able to bring to you an esteemed panel here that's going to talk. I, I mean, I, clearly different, okay. right? But um, from an entertainment point of view, it really does demonstrate. I mean, I, I think it was perfectly demonstrated me. why Sony is different than all others. Yeah. Right? From the, the creation side, delivery side, content side. And what does he know about tech? Side, it just it, looks like uh, it wasn't speeds and feeds. Right. Looks it was like he's there actually for a bit of information about what tech is. And touching people's emotions, right? Yeah. As Yoshida san says, those those communities of interest. Right. You know, whether your passion's music, whether your passion's movie watching, whether your your passion's gaming, photography all comes to life. Right, and we need those speeds and feeds to enable all that great content. <laughs> uh, and that's your bread and butter, speeds and yeah. feeds. Calm over what do you think about the uh, uh, conference? So as the non-Sony person on the panel, um, I look at all that stuff and I say, you know, I'm just a consumer hardware guy. And you forget sometimes all the process that goes in to creating things and how the hardware that we use every single day is used throughout that process. And that just says to me the quality and the capabilities of those things, the speeds and feeds. And you have <laughs> yeah, the to, to interact with that in a way that you interact can't with the app. ever, you don't ever think like about Peter Griffin. it. You just turn on your television and there's the picture. Oh, yes. But is recognizing it that it's the same kind of technology that was used to create what's there, it's always great to be reminded of that. Oh, hey, Brian. You know, we just think about how many TVs people buy and this is really the reason why we buy them. Right, and you said something I thought was very interesting, is the fact that we don't think about the technology behind it, behind it means that it's seamless. It all just comes together perfectly. And speaking of perfect, Glenn Gaynor, thank yes. you so much for being here. My pleasure. Screen Gems, let's, reaction to the, 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 the panel. I mean, it's a concert. great reminder as why I get excited to show up every single day uh, at Sony Pictures. Um, you know, Mike and I have collaborated when it comes to the sensors and the cameras. And, you know, when, when I meet with my cinematographers, when I meet with our directors, and I tell them, guys, I know the people who create some of the greatest cameras in the world, and it happens to be the, the very studio that you're meeting with, you're meeting me in, you know, here at Sony Pictures. So let's tell a great story. And they get very excited about that. You know, right now, um, we have a picture that's uh, in pre-production, it's going to be shooting on a Venice cameras, it's shooting on RX Zero cameras, and I have an Academy Award nominated cinematographer, and well, he said, make a quick I love coffee. this idea. So this and, be a... know, we're in entertainment, and we're technology. Sorry, a while. Now you take one of those two away, you can't tell a story, yeah, that's right? right? You need both. 
You really do. And, and that's have, so exciting. And it is very exciting. Yeah. And that that's that ecosystem that Yoshida-san was referencing. And Mike, if I could, I want to just focus on something that Yoshida-san said. And you, as a veteran of Sony of many years, have a really deep appreciation of these communities of interest, PlayStation communities. We have Alpha communities. Can you talk about that? What does that mean to the Sony audience? Well, I, I think if, if you listen to, to the way Glenn just articulated, and Glenn is of the best of the best storytellers. And you can see that passion and just happiness come out in, in when he talks about it. Uh, but that, that's really what it's about. So from our perspective, on the creator side, our technology is a tool. It, it's a way to bring the idea, the creativity to life. And then on the consumer side, the user side, it delivers it into their home, onto their phone, whatever mechanism they want to enjoy it on, almost exactly as the creator intended. And it's just a little bit, you know, different than in the studio than in the living room. But to, to bridge that gap is, is a pretty significant uh, technological feat. But we actually listen. We work with the creators and we listen and our engineers go out on set and they, they look at their pain points and go, come back and, and we, you know, we produce. We produce tools and we deliver superior content from great storytellers like No, it's absolutely right. In Gale. fact, there's a funny story that we had the engineers on one of our sets and um, it was um, Koji's son who was with the Alpha engineers and we were making a movie called Possession of Hannah Grace. All right. And one of the engineer, one of the one of the assistant camera people said, you know, I, I I would love it if you could maybe on the next generation put the button here. I think when we put it in a cage, as motion picture people, it would be yeah, better Johnny, here. Yeah, uh, Johnny. E3 later, isn't going to be happening for Sony this year. They pulled out, set, which is what said, leads me to believe that either this <laughs> or Sony experience <laughs> and is going to be the where they the announced the, the PS5. AC, the assistant camera. His name is Nolan like Ball. Like I say, just stay to the end and. and, and uh, they showed we'll it find to him, out, and he said, oh my God. There's a, there's a good chance it could be. Me. They said, yes, wow. we listened. The and power I, of the, the power Everyone will be wow. listening, I don't care what time I have to stay up to. I'm working tomorrow night anyway, so I could do it again in a good night routine. You can influence the placement <laughs> and yeah. push it. This is this yeah. is big stuff. You mentioned the possession of Hannah Grace, yeah. and I understand that it was shot on the A7 Mark II. You have that yeah. camera with you. I do, in fact. It's uh, it's not a prop. Um, this is, oh, not a this prop. is with me all the time. <laughs> um, 24 to 70 series, G series lens on it. Um, this is um, this is this one is the A9, okay. very similar to the A7 okay. in body. Um, but what's interesting about this particular camera, and the reason why there's a little red tape on here, is because this particular this camera, the A9, uh, scheduled for I June 11th till the 13th in making the of motion picture, 2019. Um, so um, last in the year, summer. Uh, called Proud Mary. Right. And so imagine that we shot an F55, we shot an A7S, we shot an RX0. And we had an art. Uh, we Los had this Los Angeles Convention Center. We were Center. in the field with this. This glass held up with motion picture glass. This sensor held up with the F55 sensor. Wow. It's incredible, and it's just all the scenes work perfectly. And, and that's the power that comes to the consumer. Absolutely. Not professional filmmakers. Yeah. Direct to the consumer. Absolutely. Um, the what, fact what I think it'll launch by in November well, 2019. Shot, so. Um, Slender Man with this Summer at the well. very latest, that's uh, you know, so three motion I'd say pictures like and similar sort of time to E3. Is going to also have this, you know, we, uh, we have obviously have to second build up a bit of hype. Rob Alonso. There's a lot of wonderful films. He, he worked with Tom Cruise a lot. And he says that's on every sort of action, you know, I've got this Just camera. before they release and it. And I can say that, and that I, you know, I know Rob, and, and he didn't, I didn't ask permission to say that. I just know <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So I can say it. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's one of, the, one of the better action directors out there. And that's what I'm saying is that when I, when I lean into this and I say, guys, we're, we're going to use this equipment, they say, absolutely. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, that's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah we're that's not interested really in cameras there, guys. We're, we're off the PS5 news. And yep. Of course, that is so, uh, the theme of the conference. What does technology enable for great consumer we've got Peter experiences? And Mike, Griffin. Mike, if I can just shift to you a bit about Sony's unique core strength and sensors and processors. What, how do we do this? What, what, talk a little bit about that. Sure, so, so if we look at it from, uh, let's start with the, with the processor. So we introduced the X1 Ultimate processor for our televisions. Now, technology for technology's sake isn't really what matters. What matters is, what does this processor do? 
So uh, we just showed that we're going to introduce a 98-inch 8K television. Right. We're going to introduce um, an 85-inch 8K television. Mm -hmm. Sorry, CG, it's me talking in the background, mate. Screen size. You're, you're manipulating 33 million. My name's Reese, Tech Info TV. Hit subscribe on the bell icon. <laughs> Our X1 Ultimate Processor can look at all of that information and reproduce it back on the television screen lifelike. So the best, the, the best test is to look at facial or real life um, animals, people, okay. and, and look at textures and right. complexion. And you will see that on the Sony television, we're, we're obsessed with quality. Right. So I'm, I'm Seeing is believing is what I hear you <laughs> say is believing, right? But you can't fake it. Funny you, you funny you, Phil. You crap really up. reproducing what that actual color should look like, and uh, like I said, in the Are you watching from your toilet again um, while at work. That being said, on our OLED, whether it's 77 inch or otherwise, using that same processor. I don't know, America. I'd have a bit, I'd, I've got a 65 inch, I'd, I'd have a bigger TV than that, like. to be fair. Like but my, my living room is huge. Monitor you use in so the it studio. sort of looks like a 32 uh, inch in this room, in which is room. a bit of a letdown. Yeah. On OLED. So, so, the, so the technology does matter in reproducing as we say with the creator intended. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's huge. And that was something that Christine Belson had also mentioned as, as 8K. And I know uh, uh, that there is a definitely- it's a Thanks for that, thing. Sajid. Can you talk about what 8K means and the context of this show, but what does that also mean for 4K? So, so I, I think 8, 8K uh, matters when you get 85 inch and above. It's big. Right? It's okay. big, and you do need to enhance the resolution when you're covering 33 million. Mm -hmm pixels it's it's just more more processing required and again our x1 ultimate processor can handle that but it also How's it going, Harris? so when you're looking at, at 4k which 4, 4k looks phenomenal to begin with right. but once you get less than 85 inch you really you really don't need an 8k um, so it's screen. purpose built for it's size pur pur purpose okay. built for size but mostly built for quality right so quality, and, and it's not any one piece of technology. That happens to be probably the most critical piece because it's the process. There are 8K TVs out there. I'm range. sure it will look better than a 4K TV, even if it's only 4K uh, material. It does actually in, in, improve the quality, right. and, and still. And earlier we were talking about this, uh, the uniqueness of Sony is- Obviously not as much as if you've got 8K content. Quality, right? Yeah, you know, I think the first thing I always, <clears throat> excuse me, First thing I always think about is images, right? We live in a world that is driven today by images and how we create them and how we view them. <clears throat> and you guys are doing both sides of that and creating products that take advantage of the fact that you know take advantage. how to create the image. Yeah, Sony's already copyrighted the, 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 the live stream, but able to do that, it's something I just thought I had to share. I knew it'd happen. Experience. I could have put some like you get a better quiet music picture, in the background that would have covered a, it up, but you, you understand who cares? how to deliver that. And so many other people don't always understand how to deliver that because to some people it's just a big piece of glass. Mm. But to other people PS it's nine 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 pro, how are you doing? And when you think about it as an image, an image that was created and an image that was displayed with people who understand engineers who understand <laughs> both sides. One, of one that frame equation, per minute then you get something that's just tremendous. Yeah, that, that is great. Shifting gears just a little bit, I want to talk about some one frame amazing per, yeah. stuff that has just recently come out, touched on at the uh, conference as well, yeah. and Shark Tank. You used yeah. a term that was really interesting as we prepared for this discussion. Yeah. Geographic collapsing, I believe Aye. it was. Collapsing geography. Yeah, there you go, that, yes. that's what it is. Yes. It t tell these wonderful yeah. people what's happening uh, over there that has yeah. quality, that leads with innovation, and yep. uh, in those sets over at Shark Tank. Yeah, well, so uh, Innovation Studios is one of the, is the other studio that I oversee, and it's Sony Entertainment and Technology. Uh, we're working with Dell and Intel and Deloitte. We're located at Sony Pictures, uh, so we're at the heart of the community. Uh, and what happened was, is that Shark Tank, uh, which shoots on Sony's pictures, mm -hmm. didn't have a physical stage to shoot one of their sets. Okay. And they had caught wind that we were working on this new technology called Point Cloud I don't technology, know, John, I was looking at the comments and completely missed it. create a virtual world what was it? from a physical asset. 
meaning. So images. Yeah. So you if, this is images. It's the images. So if you couldn't be somewhere, <laughs> yeah, you so did you right there, in mate. that place, the Vatican, what have you, we can go in and we can create a volumetric image acquisition of the Vatican in trillions of points and bring it onto our stage. And it's yeah, probably five, 500 pounds in the UK, I reckon. And then grab the Venice camera and be in 6K and make a motion picture or television show in that environment. So Shark Tank said, we would love to collapse geography and yeah, create a memory. virtual set so that we can carry on and, and be innovative as a television series. And so were they the first to launch with this? Yes, as okay. far as I know, it's the world's first. Okay, the great. First Same message, series I've ever been counting the, uh, the volume. So what are the days to November 2019, as, so uh, I, I'm absolutely Disney convinced that's the date we're going to see it. There's so many people saying 2021, we're gonna save money and it's just think about it, two more years, it's it's nearly three more years yeah, with yeah, PS5, uh, PS5, I don't think so. Imagine I'll put my money on it with anybody who wants to bet 2019. But your actor is available for 12 hours. So now we can go to Paris and London and Rome and Tahrir Square. Will it help us schedule Mike? Because this guy's <laughs> right? everywhere. Yes. You know, we want to bring it on selfishly Mike. to just, you know. Yep. I'm trying to okay. figure out what you're trying to say. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> well, yeah. you know, you're a popular guy, so what can I say? But Tom mentioned it as well that Men in Black had, um, we, we captured the Men in Black set. So should we need to do additional photography? We could. Oh, one boy, you know, on you know stage. the one. So it's this hyper realistic image that it is, is It's beyond photorealistic because beyond we photorealistic. capture down like to the that. sub millimeter. I like that. And, and that's the reason we're doing it is because it's at the highest quality and, and that's, that's what yeah. we stand for. And, and again, when we talk about all this beautiful content and all this emotive... Uh, yeah, you're right there, Johnny. Not only that, though, all happens another competitor second. could walk in and... Uh, yeah, so forward thinking. I mean, we saw the video the other day about the mad the box yeah. on the so channel. I want to talk about innovation for a minute. Okay. Right. Because they seem to be serious about bringing out a, a massive, a massively advanced Sony's console compared to what we got now, and, and even what Sony and Microsoft could, would be talking right? about this generation Where, coming out. You know, we take in, I don't want to say we take innovation for granted. And people say that wouldn't but happen, but so much of what PlayStation came out of nowhere. Today is creating you know, and doing they said no one, had, no one would break things. into that. Not about Xbox flopped, but look at it now; it's in the top two. Taking that innovation and creating new consoles come along every now and again every 10 years you get like a new content, a new but console coming it's in something that you guys have been at the forefront for of but we look across the entire uh, you know ecosystem of consumer products and you look at companies like Casper or Warby Parker mm -hmm. or Allbirds all these new kind of consumer goods companies that are very innovative but they're not looking to be innovative to I'm looking forward to any any gameplay for this. Their innovation just to be is honest, around but, uh, getting you the absolute best product. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people think 2020, but really thinking about how I just don't think one console will want to be left behind the other by a year. I, I, I can't see. Sony is, like I say, it's every so six years on average since the beginning of consoles. I can't see and not worrying about any any changes the there. Distractions, but being focused on. It doesn't need to be because technology doubles every every two years. So there's and there's no reason for so you know. And there's 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 like VR and mixed reality and all sorts now. They are for innovation's sake, which you know for for a lot of people. And we Whichever company did it first would, would be cashing in big time. The, the company that didn't launch in 2019 would be would be screwed basically. Like we see in great consumer goods companies today, and putting it in great products. Uh, you know, that's that's what digital is all about no, in the that's 21st great. century. I think that's a very valid statement. You know, 72 year old company that has made tremendous strides and it's always been what you mentioned earlier as well, quality. And that's why it, we, quality products with a great brand. All right, so we got a few more topics that we want to cover. So we'll, PSVR we'll 2 is another thing that's going to come um, because what a lot we of people like seem to think that they'll make the PSVR original of, uh, um, work with the, the PS5, but why would they not sell the extra hardware? Knows who I'm I mean, it could be like the Vive and the Vive Pro HCC shiny. versions. Um, they both work the same way. It could be but one's in 4K. <laughs> but this is why he wears who knows? That might be their sort of mid-gen. thinking about inclusion. Great boss, great leader. I am referencing. Well, yeah, I definitely Ivo. see them bringing out yes, new hardware all across the board. I don't Ivo. think they'd use the old PlayStation camera, for example, Steve, would they? So, 
is uh, my first chance to uh, interact with Ibo and show it'd be ready for launch as well. Like me. That's good. <laughs> what a, probably, what a probably announce yeah, PSVR <laughs> too oh, when nice. they announce the PlayStation yeah. Five. Say hi to Mike. It's not I'm going, sure. to, not going Mike's to the bathroom. friend, right? Yeah. So here you go, Mike. Oh. Uh, just in case he gets uh, no problem. <laughs> hi, Ibo. How are you, Ibo? Make sure he's happy with. Well, his we know he won't have any accidents, which yeah. is another bonus of of Ibo. But but in all seriousness, we're seeing a lot of robotics. We're seeing a lot of um, uh, AI uh, connected devices, and that's the theme of the show here at CES. Yeah. What do you think the market is for connected companions such as Ibo? You know, it's it's whatever we can envision it, right? Yeah. You're at the the cusp of the beginning of the market. We don't know what kind of things people are going to think about. That's, again, going back to that innovative thought process, what will people do with something like that? You, you just never know. Mm -hmm. You know, if you think about uh, how uh, con connectivity has changed over the years, right? Nobody envisioned the kind of... That dog's of, pretty cool, actually. You might uh, get one of them my daughter. ...software that people could build on a LTE network, right? And LTE enabled companies to create all these great pieces of software but we didn't really understand the capabilities until we had that mm -hmm. kind of in our possession and I think when you look at products like this and with consumer robotics in general uh, you know we're in an innovative time. Nishant Kumar in I agree get rid of Peter experiment Griffin off the screen and give us and some more informed PS5 please. Once you get these kind of products out there in the market uh, you never know right. what the end result is. So it's the beginning be. of a new era in many ways. Um, I will mention that IBO. Yeah, that's, G, that's what it's like with these sort of things. Years. And I love IBO's name in two ways. Uh, artificial Usually the second robot. half when they announce big stuff. Those terms 20 years ago. Who was saying yeah. AI 20 years yeah. ago? Yeah, that's right. Like who? Only Sony. That's right. <laughs> or mainly I Sony. I like to say artificial intelligence meets robotics with a personality. And yeah. he smiled yeah. right there, he right on you. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. He, he loves your voice. <laughs> but it's a, it's a learning device. I mean, it, yeah. it really is a companion, but yeah. it's far beyond the companion as well. Yeah. You know, it's coming up to one year old. 20 years we've been building robotics, um, the first IBO. But this, this little guy or gal is um, coming up on one year old. Yeah, the conference isn't long started, so you're going to get all the, really the warm-up cool first. Is, it's brand new every day because it has two-way communication to the cloud, right? So year one... They do this so that you watch it till the end, whatever they announce, because anything big will be announced at the end. It's got more than 4,000 parts. Or well, from the second half onwards. I think something like PS5 would be agility. So you're seeing it quite a large section of the show right, the would be reserved for that, at least 50%, I'd say, because of all sensors. the new information. I mean, so that's when you pet it under the chin or pet it on the head, right? So, but think about the next steps yeah. and what this can do the, beyond the companionship. The personality part is the part that really gets me. We can do, you know, I've seen zillions of sensors over the years and all sorts of things, but to, to make it a little more personal and to make it personal to, the, to, to you or to me, um, instead of just a robot or a bot. Conferences um, like announcements that's, that's and talking so about technology. So and. Different. And that's why I like I said, they've gone through the uh, what kind of things the movie side together. of things, then the music side of things. Now the tone because is all about this not just this dog. Devices, right? they, have when a they know we're all FPS five. They, they understand you, and they want to be, you know, friends with you. So uh, I'm excited about these kind of products. It really is an area where you know is very greenfield, right? Nobody has done these kind yeah. of things. Well, I remember when I first brought Ibo onto the lot. Yes. And uh, I had lunch with you for, th yep. for the first time and I brought Ibo. Boy, I, I thought it was going to steal him. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 my I eyes lit up. <laughs> I was just completely taken by him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so 100%. You, yeah, and I think that again we're we're referencing well, I don't know. this is not It's possible. I don't think they'll be announcing any sort of Vita. Yeah, beauty, there's this aesthetic quality to the eyes, it's, to the design. It's a, like yeah. a great, it's like a great movie or a great piece of piece of artwork yeah. that it's not doesn't just sit there. It speaks to you somehow on a personal level and connects to you. It's not just something right. on the canvas or yep. just something on your screen. Yeah. And you know that's where the future is going. And it's pretty excited to listen to him 
bark at us. Well, I'll close out on our IBO section by just saying, I'm sad to report that all of the IBOs have sold out. They just sold out, uh, and uh, he was a hot item um, here in the United States, made a lot of very happy families, but uh, stay tuned. Uh, and if you haven't watched that unbox video of IBO so you can experience it for yourself, uh, please do take a look at that. All right. so. Again, a new topic. We covered so much in the press conference. We're going to now talk about the music industry, right? A, great surprise to get Pharrell on stage. That, that, that made me happy. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, but uh, the 360 reality audio platform. Mike, could I start with you about that? Uh, uh, your initial reaction? <laughs> it's butthole is the charging audio port, and, you know? And, um, my immediate reaction is a game changer. Don't forget to leave a like on the guys. Uh, on Just the guys. Don't forget to leave a like on the screen, the guys. We didn't talk about audio much. We Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you're not already. Much the critical component is channels is mostly console news or display. So you know we are a audio company. Uploading daily. For decades we've been an audio company. Yes, we are also a music company, mm -hmm. uh, but and a technology company. So when you right. bring that all together, we really know sound and we know it in, in all fashions and all venues. What uh, we're announcing <laughs> here, and yeah, you did. Thanks, we're Ajit. demonstrating here, is this new uh, spatial audio. It's not a concept, it's, it's real, it's, it's technology. That uh, with a pair of headphones, simply put on a pair of headphones, your 1000X Mark III's, yes. which was the best-selling headphone. You're definitely headphone sleeping with that dog, I agree with you there. But uh, you put on your headphones, and the, sur the sound is not only surround, but also you're getting spatial. So you're sort getting of like highs, the crazy cat lady, getting lows. the crazy you robot dog guy. Pick out where the instrument is or where the musician With is. The over. So directionally. Directionally. Yes. In, in front of you, on the side of you, behind you, you know, high, high tones of top and low bass. Yeah, they do Samsung Galaxy. Yeah, they like do have a... Uh, whereas before, maybe you were in the audience, you were at the I saw concert, a TV like that in uh, Curry's. I don't know if you've heard of Curry's, the, the UK the chain of uh, tech uh, shop. Again, how the yeah, recording I had a look at it in there, the ended up getting the recorded. Sony well, Bravia is, uh, um, Smart TV 4K the because the, the price, basically. How do we do that was still really expensive, but... The QLED ones were about five so, grand, I think, uh, six grand. Yeah, depending on the recording, you can feel as if you're center stage, or maybe you feel as if you're center hall and you've got the crowd yeah. around you. That is uh, powerful. But it's, it's well beyond surround sound. Mm -hmm. it's, it's spatial object wow. audio and 360, um, and as well as well as high and low. And um, the model number is actually like a, a, a jumbo of <laughs> XK, 2, 3, all this sort of thing. But yeah. if you look on the Curry's website, it's 1,400 and there's a, a cheaper right. version that's 1,012, yeah. that's 1,200. But the difference, I think, was one was uh, a refresh rate of 400 and the one I got was 1,000. Um, and it's got an extra computer in there as well. Um, as a, as, as so they tell me. I, I don't know if it's true. Right. <laughs> so it can it can do more at the same time, or it loads quicker, or something. Sound blew my mind. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. Well, that's a pretty big thing to do. That's because, enough right there. Uh, yeah. you know, well, you yeah. saw Pharrell's reaction. Right? Oh yeah, it's yeah. amazing. I was going to do a review on the TV, but everybody would you like is here for consoles. Let's not let's not beat around the bush. No one wants to see a TV. Mike kind of touched on it. Is we. In this kind of smartphone age, we forget that. No, it doesn't have a robot dog, Phil. Watching a video I think the QLED one does, though. Is listening to that as well, and you know, six grand, you should think so. Short shrift to audio and all sorts of different products, and moving audio to the forefront is certainly the next, I think, big opportunity because we just. Oh, well, yeah, boy, it's uh, QLED, not OLED. It's a different type of thing. That, as we've spent on 4K and 8K screens and all those kind of things. So if you're looking for the next big, big thing and the next big opportunity, we definitely see it in audio. Wonderful. And that is big. All right, well, we're, we're heading down the All does, sir. 100% agree with you there. He, he likes that dog a bit too much, doesn't he? We're going to talk about something. Either that or he's really, he's really nervous. Very relevant. Or starstruck that he sat next to Peter Griffin. Earlier. Mike, can you tell the audience what that pin is that you're wearing? So, so this is um, equality, right? This pin represents equality. Started with the LBGQ. Um, <laughs> he doesn't even know the name of it. You know, on a much the LGBTQ. Scale. 
but it's about equality. It's it's the movement. Uh, equality for robot dogs, everyone. Because I believe it. You know, it's um, it. I, look, it's a little frustrating that we're talking about this in 2019, and it consumed very well, very well done. Uh, a lot of the Golden Globes uh, speeches last evening, which were which were spectacular. Uh, but but it's it's real when. when when you don't talk about an issue, is when you have an issue. Issues, right? yeah. But now the conversation's happening, and it true and truly is is a movement. Uh, yeah, Brad, it's need to do more than just, just not talk. cheap, but I mean, for sixty-five inch, I think it's a good deal. Forward, especially in the it's good quality as well. The colours, the colours are beautiful. Isn't it? Of diversity and inclusion, which spans gender, orientation, and a host of things. Um, I did want to highlight that that we are have published a white paper on Sony's position here in North America. And this is really under the leadership of Mike and his uh, vision for all voices create better products. At the end of the day, the return on investment for consumers and companies is real when all have a, a voice. Um, and so I'd encourage our, our audience out there to go to Sony.com, find that white paper. It's a partnership. Not like to talk about politics on the channel, but yeah, we don't need another social justice warrior on the firm. Organization that supports, uh, women um, and I'd also like to just reach out to you Steve and say from an industry perspective you probably don't cover this much but would be curious in your your thoughts and <laughs> your CEO yes. Karen Schoen Park. thank you I knew I was gonna mess that up <laughs> and we have to say thank you to Karen because I know NPD is having a big event tonight and we stole your headliner so thanks for Did this for is that. You, but, I didn't even know that what is the philosophy with Karen and NPD well, you know, and your thoughts Karen came up through the ranks at NPD. Um, she's been there I, pretty much her Can you not hear it due to and the stream? Some sort of issue with the stream, Phil, or is it a, a just because you've got it turned out on your phone? Group are women, and you know we do a lot of women-focused uh, categories, uh, apparel and beauty, and we make sure that people can um, talk to the customers in those categories are the, the right kind of executives to have there. Uh, Karen's been very forward, and she does a lot with the women in technology groups, mm -hmm. and she wrote a book about how hard it is to be a, a mom and a um, female mom, executive. It's a so, you know, we're all very proud of Karen. She's been a great uh, CEO for about a year. Before that, she was our COO. So, um, oh, so there is a CEO. I thought that was like an accident. I thought it was a typo. Uh, to be our leader. Yeah, well, that is absolutely wonderful. And, and Glenn, when we had that conversation, me, you, and Ibo on the lot, yeah. we also <laughs> touched on this topic, absolutely. too. And, and share your philosophies and the way that you cast, even in the strong women roles in your film, about how much that uh, plays into your work product. It's why I came to Screen Gems in the first place. It was one of the few divisions that was really leaning into and embracing female empowerment. Um, you know, we've made films that I'm very proud of, Think Like a Man, Think Like a Man 2. Um, we were making films that, that focused on diversity and the power of diversity. And our films did well because of that. And, you know, Sony Pictures is yeah, doing There's only well so long we can that. take of uh, these um, One of the reasons speaking, I got very excited to shoot Sure, they won't leave us with this much longer. Accessible to people around the world is because if I can make it's like E3 but without serious amounts of cringe like this still cringe you just can not, make as, a Hollywood not as much picture, or you can make your own movie with this camera right. get your voice heard and if that's, that's not so critical communities of interest that's clearly community. right yeah. that's like the yeah. huge I got chill bumps that's yeah like such a I don't think Sony will ever go uh, back to free right. PS plus and I'll segue from there to I don't say think it'll happen once you start making money on something they're not just gonna give it away of interest called alpha female uh, we talk a lot about it in this white paper it is our uh, diversity and inclusion initiative and it's really just another way that we yeah. connect legitimately connect with the consumer, uh, and it has a social value, it has a consumer value, and it has a, a, a global value. Yeah, I do blame Microsoft. And I told my 12-year-old right. daughter who loves photography. Who is a it. great photographer, by the way. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I tagged Mike <laughs> yesterday. She had a great shot of me uh, with, with the camera, and um, it was at the B Alpha event. And you know, I brought both of my daughters to the B Alpha event, and they were excited to see so yeah. many It's always gotta be something cameras, political and men, far left. Women, you know, I totally agree with you. Having fun it does get boring. Themselves. And that's so important today. I think today, empowering a voice, a single oh, voice. Oh, shut up, will you? Is PS5 the time. Can do. Right. And then can, we just can I comment on, on Alpha do. Female for a moment? So, 
Um, just just three, three quick things. One is, we know from the business side that an empowered workforce is a productive workforce, right? So if you're not including people, you're not going to empower them, right? So it's, that's just the basics. Yeah. But yeah. secondary, I think I stole you from the, the theater, I was recruited right? from right? a So uh, you were CEO of Athena, <laughs> yes. and we have a wonderful relationship with Athena. <laughs> that's true. Who is, you know, focused on technology. Yeah, Brad, I agree with you about the uh, women in technology as well pay-to-win well thing that's becoming and more then, prevalent You mentioned the every Alpha year. female campaign. We launched the Alpha Female campaign. By the way, the Alpha Female Started campaign on mobile games. provides six women across the nation uh, with a $25,000 grant, $5,000 product loan, and also mentorship with a professional female photographer. Yeah. When we launched that idea, we had 6,000 applicants in 48 hours. Yeah, that's impressive. Right? And the community- Talk about a voice being heard. Yeah, that's, that's true. And that's so, you know, that's a practical- He went to touch your shoulder there, didn't he? And he, and he, had, see, he had second uh, thoughts and stroke the dog instead. A lot of diversity inclusion brochures and initiatives, but we do it all the way to the consumer level, at the leadership level, and that, I believe, is the core difference. That's yeah. that really getting in touch with the consumer. It's all across the board. So I think we're ready to close this fantastic panel out. Steve, thank you for your time, your thank expertise. You. Mike, your leadership, your dog. And <laughs> Ken, thank you. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Thanks, Sony audience, follow the conversation on Sony CES. You're not the only and one, Sajid. The, the nearest McDonald's to me is like we four miles away. Thank you to be closer to you. Thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome. That was fun. Finally. Oh, see a PlayStation console there. Is that a giveaway? It's got to be something PlayStation involved. Otherwise, why would they show a picture of a VR headset? Just a sec, guys. Let me just refresh. You know how it is. Come on, Sony, get you together. Wow. Kidding me. So that does appear to be it, but don't go anywhere just in case it may come back on. They didn't mention phones or anything like that, so surely not. Must have been an issue with the stream. Nope, doesn't appear so. Right, if it comes back on, I'll uh, stream again. But don't forget to hit subscribe before we leave. Um, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. And uh, yeah, if it comes back on, I'll go back on and uh, live stream again. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Reese for Tech Info TV, signing off.